MA1 Part A Chapter 1, B 4. In order for management to have control of the transactions of a business, there needs to be a system of authorization of transactions. Management doesn't always have the time to personally oversee all the transactions of the business. So in order to keep control, transactions need to be authorized. Management needs control over the following areas. Sales on credit to new customers. It needs to be made fairly sure that the new customer will pay for the goods. Purchases of goods and non-current assets. This is a large expense and it needs to be made sure that the expense is valid, so it needs to be authorized. Payment of employees. One of the largest expenses in a business is its salaries and wages, so it needs to be made sure that all the employees being paid, actually work for the business, and have actually worked the hours that they are being paid for. 5. The basic principle, in double entry bookkeeping, is that every debit entry, has a corresponding credit entry. Debit entries in the ledger accounts, increases, assets and expenses, and decreases, liabilities and income. Credit entries in the ledger accounts, increases, liabilities and income, and decreases, assets and expenses. Just to recap on the accounting equation. Assets, less liabilities, equals, capital, plus profit, less drawings. For cost accounting purposes, we will be concerned mostly with the sales of goods, the purchase of material, the payment of wages and the treatment of expenses. These transactions all affect the accounting equation. Stop the lecture. Answer the question on page 12 of your interactive text study guide. 6. Transactions are first recorded in books of prime entry, subsidiary journals. They are then totaled and the totals posted to the ledger accounts. Cost accounting gathers costs for inventory valuation, so that it can meet the requirements for external reporting, and also for internal profit measurement. It produces information for both financial and management accounting. Stop the lecture. Answer the question on page 13 of your interactive text study guide. An integrated system combines both cost and financial accounting functions into one system of ledger accounts. This system saves money and time, but has the disadvantage of trying to fulfill two purposes with one ledger, even though there are differences, in the requirements of financial and management accounting. An interlocking system has a cost ledger for cost accounting and a financial ledger for financial accounting. Both ledgers will have a control account which preserve the integrity of the double entry system. There is easier access to the cost accounting information, but it is more time consuming to prepare two sets of ledger accounts, and to reconcile them regularly to ensure that they are in agreement. Stop the lecture. Answer the question on page 14 of your interactive text study guide. 7. A computerized accounting system is a much quicker and more accurate way to make entries to an accounting system. Accounting using a computerized system involves inputting data, processing it according to accounting rules in software, and producing outputs. Data is collected and processed into information. Files are updated to include the processed data, then finally the data is communicated to the users, in the form of outputs. In terms of accounting system and databases, a data file is a collection of records with similar characteristics. A record in a file consists of data relating to one definable unit of business information, and is made up of several fields. It should contain at least one key field which makes it unique and identifiable. A field is an item of data relating to a record. In older systems, files were usually classified as transaction files, and master files. Transaction files contain records relating to individual transactions. Master files are files containing reference data, and cumulative transaction data. These terms, transaction files, and master files, are not used much in modern processing. The preferred term of, databases, is used. Files are used to store data and information. The main types of data processing involving files, are file updating, file maintenance, and file inquiry. 
Both manual and computerized data processing can be divided into two broad types of data processing, batch processing and real-time processing. Batch processing is when transactions are gathered and stored into batches before being processed. The data in a batch is not inputted straight away so the system is not always up to date. Batch input allows for good control over inputted data because the data can be grouped into batches which are numbered. The data is processed in those batches and a listing is printed out, organized in batch order. If any information goes missing, it is possible to find the batch in which the information was part of by using the batch numbers. Real-time processing is when transactions are inputted and processed immediately, in real time. This type of processing is appropriate when immediate processing is required, and the delay in batch processing is not acceptable. To see the diagram of both batch processing and online processing, see page 17 of your interactive text study guide. The main advantages of a computerized accounting system are It is quicker than a manual system. It is more accurate than the manual system, as a large number of transactions can be processed. It provides management with a variety of reports and analysis. End of chapter 1 what will follow now is the quick quiz. After the quick quiz, do the online questions for Part A, Chapter 1. Quick quiz. Question 1. Which one of the following is a potential disadvantage of centralization? A. Greater control by senior management. B. Risk reduction in relation to operational decision making. C. Local offices are less self sufficient. D. Consistency of decision making across the organization. Question 2. Which one of the following is a potential disadvantage of a policy manual? A. It may lead to inflexibility. B. Personnel follow best practices. C. Procedures are formalized. D. It acts as a form of control over activities of employees. Question 3. Which of the following personnel in an organization would not be involved in the sale of goods on credit? A. Credit controller. B. Payables ledger clerk. C. Salesperson. D. Stores department person. Question 4. What document should normally be completed if a purchase of a non-current asset is required? A. A purchase requisition. B. A dispatch note. C. A goods received note. D. An invoice. Question 5. What is the correct accounting equation? A. Assets, plus liabilities, equals, capital, plus profit, less drawings. B. Assets, plus liabilities, equals, capital, less profit, less drawings. C. Assets, less liabilities, equals, capital, plus profit, plus drawings. D. Assets, less liabilities, equals, capital, plus profit, less drawings. Question 6. What is the double entry for the purchase of materials on credit? A. Debit materials control, credit payables. B. Debit payables. Credit Materials Control C. Debit Materials Control, Credit Receivables D. Debit Receivables, Credit Materials Control Question 7. An integrated system combines the cost accounting and financial accounting functions into one system of ledger accounts. Is that true or false? Question 8. What is the double entry for the following in an integrated accounts system? A production overhead absorbed in the cost of production b completed work transferred from the production process to inventory after doing the quick quiz do the online questions for part a chapter 1 do the questions until you achieve 80% replay the lecture as needed